concerned citizen called 311. Uh, they were trying to get into this house to smoke marijuana. We questioned them as to whether they were actually under the effects of the drugs or they actually saw a tiger. They saw a tiger in this building, this vacant house that's uh, obviously been abandoned for some time. Somebody's been feeding the tiger. There's several empty packages of meat. Um, and what we're going to do is remove them out of there with a wrecker, tranquilize them, remove them out of the wrecker, and they're going to take them to a zoo. So you've said you've been in this for 20 years. How I've been a police officer 21 years. And how unusual is this? In 21 years, I've never seen a tiger, especially an animal this size, a wild animal this size that could actually kill people. I've never seen one at somebody's garage of a vacant house. You know, one of the things that's really concerning, not just the fact that you have a wild animal surrounded by, you know, in a, in a very busy neighborhood, right, right. on the loop here, uh, but also the fact that Cage isn't very supportive. Cage is very rickety. It's secured by a uh, nylon strap that's holding him in and a piece of loose board that they use to open and close it to uh, give him food. Um, and uh, so this call was for something else. Do you do you, do you happen to come at some point? Uh, uh, like I said, a concerned citizen was going to s smoke marijuana in this house, and they decided to call the police because they thought that a tiger was strange instead of a vacant house.